you got two minutes to tell us all about yourself. Hello, everybody. You got to get right to the mic, David. I know some of you know me, and a lot of you probably don't know me. My name is Roy Hernandez. Talk right into it, just like this. My name is Louis Hernandez. I'm running for city council. I'm a life resident of Winnemucca. I've been here in Winnemucca in uh, business for 27 years. I'm a bilingual person. And uh, I want to tell you that there's a lot of, a big percentage of uh, Hispanic people in Winnemucca, and they've never been represented, and I want to represent them. I don't think there's ever been a bilingual in the city council. I want to be one. In my kind of work, I talk to a lot of people every single day. So I'm very aware of what's going on in Winnemucca. Sometimes we discuss the needs changes in Winnemucca. And boy, you'd be surprised. Everybody has an opinion. <laughs> Being a city councilman is a big responsibility. I know that. But I'm willing to face some new challenges. I will work real hard with the rest of the city council to solve these problems. After all, I know all, all my life. I even went to school, high school, with the mayor. <laughs> so if anybody here don't think I like Winnemucca. There's very few people in Winnemucca. I'm in this building here that cares and likes Winnemucca more than I do. So if anybody want to vote or willing or thinking about voting for me, your vote will not be wasted. I'll guarantee you that. I will not embarrass the city, the city council, Everybody, I will not embarrass anybody, especially my family. Thank you. Larry, that's two minutes. We're out of time. No? Sure. Everybody needs sure. two minutes. This is part of it. This is part of it. You'll get another chance. Come on. Sure. Come on. Give me 20 seconds. Give me 20 seconds. Have a seat, and we'll get you back up here in a second. Okay. <laughs> we got to keep it fair. Okay, and uh, next on the list would be Teresa Madrid. See if I can get the mic in the right place. All right, good evening. I am Teresa Mabity, and I am a candidate for Winnemucca City Council, C2. I moved to Winnemucca in 1996 and immediately opened a small business here, the Dance Plus Studio. I've had the privilege of working with hundreds and hundreds of children and their parents doing a job that I love for the last 18 years here. So Winnemucca is the place that my husband Mike and I chose to come and then it became the place that we chose to stay and raise our family. We have three wonderful children. I believe that wherever you live, you have a responsibility to give back to your community. So I volunteered with a lot of great organizations here in town, including the Grass Valley PTA, Senior Drug Free Grad Party, Winnemucca Century Club, and a lot of programming with the Methodist Church to name a few. My further involvement, in 2010, I was appointed by the mayor and the city council to serve um, a term on the Regional Planning Commission. My time on RPC has given me some very recent experience with public meeting and working cooperatively with other elected and appointed officials. I'm also a six-year member of the Humboldt County Chamber uh, of Commerce Board of Directors, and the chamber has been a great, great way to meet other business owners, large and small, to work with community leaders, and I've had so much fun um, working on events that have promoted business and tourism here. If elected to the city council, it is my intention to act responsibly, to ask questions, and to set aside my personal opinion to act for the good of this community at large. I've been in attendance at city council, um, since this past May, I believe that whoever steps in to C2 needs to be prepared. It's one thing to read minutes, it's another to personally observe the meetings and see the working relationship that our mayor and uh, current council have. I've invested time and energy and leadership into this community through the years, and I look forward to continuing to do so.
so as a dedicated member of the City Council. Thank you. Okay, um, right up front here we have a yellow card and a blue card. Don't get the red card. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you didn't know where it's at. Marie, please take your turn. Hello, everyone. Good. Can you hear me? My name is Maureen McDonald, and I am running for City Council C2. I was born and raised in Winnemucca. After living and working in other cities like Las Vegas and Reno, I realized my heart has always belonged to Winnemucca, and I returned home. I'd like to give back to my community by providing input in the decision-making decision process for the town that I love. For the past 18 years, I have worked as a legal secretary and paralegal in large and small private law firms and for the state of Nevada. For over the past seven years, I have worked in the Cumble County Public Defender's Office. In my life and career, I have faced difficult decisions. I am not afraid to make those difficult decisions. As a councilwoman, I will work very hard and do my very best for everyone. I will listen to the community. I will voice your thoughts and your concerns as well as my own. At the end of the day, I will, I will, I will work with my fellow council members to make decisions that are the very best for our community. I believe that through my professional and personal experiences, I offer something different from the other two candidates and the other council members. I believe that diversity is good. I believe that all residents deserve a voice. I'd be proud to be that voice. Thank you for, for your support and for your time this evening. And also I'd like to thank the Chamber and everyone involved in, in hosting this event for all of us. Thank you. Okay, for our first question, um, with the, the state being very proactive and just luring Tesla into the for economic development, what um, what visions do you have to bring the city on board with projects like that to diversify our economy? Uh, Louis, would you like to go first? Based on the previous question, I think that the biggest input is going to be the city of Reno. Uh, maybe firmly too. Uh, I don't understand why they have to spend or give that company so much money just to bring the company in. Of course, it has benefits, and some of them I disagree. But that's the way I look at it. What do you think we could do in Winnemucca to bring that type of development of our to diversify our economy? Is the question. Well, not, not necessarily Tesla, that's just an example, but what could we do to bring smaller companies to Winnemucca? That, that would be the folks, do you have any ideas about diversifying our economy? Oh, yes. Uh, I believe that the city and the county should get together and advertise. Number one, uh, uh, advertise and uh, let other companies around the United States that if they want to uh, relocate their businesses, come to Winnemucca, visit Winnemucca. We have a lot of ground available. We have the transportation and the freeways and everything else. just for 
new companies coming into our community, but for local residents who want to start up their own business, who are having difficulty possibly um, getting permits and time constraints with permits and whatnot. I think there are a lot of ways that we can, by still following all the laws and codes, we can, we can cut through some of the red tape that Story County proved helped in, in some decision making in some companies coming to their county. Thank you.
Innovation Facility, and I have um, heard their presentation progress. And yes, question two is very important if that is going to happen. One quarter of 1%, right, is the proposed sales tax. So about a quarter on $100. Um, what I will say is that the city of Winnemucca has been very, very um, conservative with their budget and their fiscal management thus far. This project is proposed in phases. And the best case scenario is that question two passes and the whole project comes to fruition and becomes um, a large asset for this community, for, for children, for seniors, and everyone in between. It brings business here, um, it improves uh, our economy, and um, we're able to, to make that piece of it work. If question two does not pass, then um, what I suspect is the city council, in cooperation with the county and the school district and the WCBA, are going to have to sit back and ask um, whether or not every phase can happen, and it may not. But I think that the plus side of this project is that it is designed in phases, okay? Phase one has been committed to, right? And we do have a recreation budget, and hopefully if only phase one exists, we can use those funds appropriately and cautiously to maintain that piece of it. Um, but I will tell you that I think this is an excellent project for the city of Winnemucca and for this county. And so, um, yes, I will work with my fellow councilmen to come up with solutions if that's what we need to do. I am more hopeful that question two will pass and we're going to get to make um, some awesome improvements um, and have this facility be useful to all of us. Thank you. I'm not very aware of these. I've been doing some research, I've been asking questions, and uh, what I see is if it's necessary, you know, we have a big growth of kids, they need recreation, they need places to go and keep them uh, occupied. And if it's going to be good for the city, without hurting the financial, I'm okay, I'm for it. But boy, sometimes when you're talking about millions of dollars, you have to stop and think and just don't go in. Let's do it. That's my opinion. Thank you. And I've got a hot button, button question for everybody. Is, uh, do you believe medical marijuana dispensaries are valuable and truly necessary in our local communities? Um, Louis, did you take that one first? Uh, boy, that's a tough decision. <laughs> uh, it has to be really talked about, not only the city council, the county commissioner, and a lot of the people that live in Winnemucca. Do we need something like that? Is it going to benefit Winnemucca or is it going to benefit uh, individual people? Uh, I really don't know that give you, uh, you know, a great answer. It's a tough one. But it takes a lot of uh, deciding. And I would be willing to sit down and listen to somebody else's opinion. Thank you. <laughs> About a month or so ago, I was in attendance at the county commission meeting where I, I believe it was on the agenda um, maybe for the very first time, and there was a lot of um, passionate and real um, public comment that came forward on this topic. And it was interesting and it was informative, I think, to everyone who was in the meeting room that day. It was, it was educational, so to speak, it really was. Um, I don't discount the need for health purposes for medical marijuana. However, in this community, I think we need to proceed cautiously. Um, I know uh, there's you know, misinformation. For example, a medical marijuana establishment can mean an independent testing laboratory, it can mean a cultivation facility, it can mean a facility producing edible or infused products, or it can be an actual dispensary. Okay? 
there's a lot of definitions, I guess, for lack of a better word, for what a medical marijuana establishment can be. Um, I have uh, leaked some information from the planning department because I know the Regional Planning Commission has been doing a lot of work on this subject too, and it's a big job. It's a really big job. Um, I can tell you that if I was sitting on the city council right now, and this is coming to them very soon, um, I would be mindful of the process. I would be appreciative of the work that the RPC has already done on this manner. Um, and I think that the ordinance that they would like to see um, approved is found a little bit of common ground and um, it probably has some validity in this community right now. It is saying that we have a very um, limited uh, degree of conditional allowance for some of these kinds of facilities, for not all of them. And I think that, that would be um, probably the step in the right direction as we consider this subject that I think is going to be a big one at every level for years to come.